Alright, YouTube. Guess what just showed up at my liquor store today? That's right, the Spring Seasonal from Samuel Adams. They're Noble Pills. It is a Pilsner type beer made with. Uh, what was it? The Samuel Adams Noble Pills is one of the only brews made with all five noble hops from the world's oldest growing regions. Its bright flavor and lively citrus hop character remind us that the warm days of spring are just a few weeks away. Cheers! Yes, indeed, it is actually made with um, all four noble hops uh, from uh, from uh, the southern Germany, uh, Bohem like Bavaria, Bohemian region. Uh, uh, Bohemia, of course, is, is the Czech Republic, um, and of course, what many may not already know, watching this review, is that uh, the Pilsen originates from Pilsen, che Pilsen in Czech, the Czech Republic, um, uh, and of course, they gave the city gives their name to that type, that style of beer. Uh, the original type of, of Pilsen is Pilsner Urkel, which uses uh, Saas type uh, noble hops. There are, are three others technically, and uh, apparently there is another city involved in making like noble European hops or original hops. Um, and uh, I guess it's grouped in with that whole group. Uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure whether that works. Although Samuel Adams kind of thinks that it's uh, it's uh, all five, so they originate from the, that that kind of area. Anyway, um, yeah, like. Samuel Adams just uh, started, uh, they signed a deal last year with Moosehead Breweries. Who, Moosehead's main brewery and headquarters is based out of my hometown, St. John, New Brunswick. Uh, they signed a deal with uh, Boston Brewing Company to bring the Samuel Adams brews up here, but uh, so far the only ones we've seen is uh, seasonal per season, and of course their standard um, Boston lager, which I had, can't really say I care for it. Uh, word on the street is it that their Boston, the Boston Light, sorry, the Light Logger is going to come up here soon, but uh, we'll see when that gets here. Anyway, um, it is a 5.5% ABV. Uh, for some reason, the Liquor Corporation up here decided to affix these labels to the back saying, uh, Beer, 5.5% 5 5 alcohol by volume, 359 only here is product of USA. Uh, they do know, however, that that those details are written on the bottle somewhere. Maybe. No, maybe they're not. Maybe that's why they need to write it down. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let me grab my bottle opener here. Pop open. I've already got a cap saved of that, so I don't need to worry about damaging that one. I should point out that the caps or they say Noble Pills right on them. This one here is green. Like they're, they did that for their winter lager in Oktoberfest from what I've seen. I think there's Summer Ale, summer ale too. We had the Summer Ale last year. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to pour this out. Actually this week uh, in my local NB liquor stores they're having a special where um, you get a free Samuel Adams Boston Lager glass with purchase of a six pack of Boston Lager. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. Um, let me see if I can read what the details are. It's, it's supposed to be the perfect pint glass. Here's the box. Let's see. Or say, and I'll read en français. It says, number one, the little lip at the edge says it's the turbulator bump inside the rim. Let's see if I can... The turbulator bump, that's that thing at the top. Creates turbulence to release flavor as the beer enters your mouth. Woohoo! Uh, number two, the... Uh, balance there. Narrow top retains the hop aroma and sustains the head. Sure. Um, the the rounded. Sh okay, so yeah. Okay, that's this little bump right here. Narrow top. The this area right down here is the rounded shape collects aromas. Hmm. Uh, number four, down to base, they're pointing to, and I mean, they probably mean the whole bottom glass when they say this, thinner walls in rounded shape maintain proper temperature longer. And last but not least, down at the very bottom, and you can't see that, uh, they have laser etchings on the bottom to create bubbles for cons constant aroma release. So it's like a, an agitator kind of etching uh, to, uh, to kick up bubbles, uh, carbonation in the beer. As you can see behind me, I'm going to have a pizza with this beer. 
believe that these two will complement each other quite well. So, there we go. It is a beautiful kind of a, a straw, um, yellow, golden color. It's kind of a, maybe not straw, but it's a, a golden kind of color. The carbonation is ranging between coarse and fine bubbles. Um, looks like it'll leave a good amount of lacing around the outside. Yeah, uh, the carbonation, you can see the bubbles come right up. And of course, it's a very clear beer, as you know, typical Pilsner uh, style beers would. Now, as this is a Pilsner type beer using European noble hops, uh, German and Czech noble hops, it should smell like uh, quite a lot of the other main Pilsners, like uh, Warsteiner, or like a cross between Warsteiner and Pils Pilsner Urkel. Uh, let's give it a sniff. Mm. It does, but not quite. It's like a like a piney copper coin kind of smell. Um, it's there. It's definitely got some aroma to it, but um, it's not quite as apparent. Like it's not quite as strong as you might find in a uh, a uh, tip, your typical Pilsen style beer. Uh, Look, looks and smell though it does smell like a Pilsner so yeah so it's got like um, faint hints of citrus but mainly it's like copper coin pine pine needle kind of scent let's give it a sip Most definitely leaves that copper coin taste in the back of the mouth. It's got like a pine needle, pine. Pine and grapefruit citrus in the back of the throat. Very, it's mild though. And it leaves almost through like a fruity, like a, a Granny Smith apple kind of taste in the back of the throat. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's drinkable. Mouthfeel wise, it's it's light as a pilsner should be, um, and it's um, it's crisp. It's uh, goes down crisp and it leaves a nice lingering bitterness as it goes down the throat. Yeah, that's a fairly it's it's tasty, but it's not overwhelmingly like uh, hoppy tasty as you might find in like a pilsner article. It's it's good, and it fits the part. And really taste that apple in the back of the throat. I like it. Um, yeah, it's decent. And it's got a mild hop character to it. Yeah, if you like uh, Pilsners, i uh, definitely give it a try. Uh, it's probably not going to replace your favorite. But um, it's definitely a good attempt. Um, yeah. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. I don't think it's that bad. It's not like mind-numbingly blowing away, but it's it's definitely decent. 3.5 out of 5.